hi everyone welcome to friends mojo youtube hope you're okay i'm here to do a little quick review on the arrow invasion crossover the 100 episode now this episode is basically just uh, the aliens have kidnapped uh, katie or sorry sarah oliver thea barry and diggle they put them in a stasis kind of situation uh, they're going to uh, put some hallucinations in the brain of a world that they are not in no more. <laughs> so in this world, John Diggle is the arrow. Felicity works with John. Uh, but Felicity was, one, was not one of the ones that got kidnapped. Uh, Oliver is going to marry Laurel. Sarah is uh, going to the wedding, but she never had any relationship with Oliver. Who else is there? Ray, Ray is just the business person there, so they're the five people that got kidnapped and they're in that world. But in that world, as slowly as it goes, Oliver starts remembering, Thea starts remembering, Sarah, and then they discover that they are not part of that world, it's fake, they remember the old world. And then slowly they're trying to find a way out. And they have an idea, there's a building called the Smoke Building, that's not in any reality at all until the future of course but not now at the moment so that that's they discover that's the only way out but everybody's a lot of people are in this episode laurel's in this episode uh oliver's mom and dad uh even the enemies damien dark slade wilson merlin is in this episode they're all in this episode it's a, it's a hundred episode Meanwhile, on real life planet, Felicity and Cisco Ramon try and find out how to get them back. And in the process, they have to fight a villain called Cyberwoman, who's uh, just uh, put herself together with the machines and that. But it's not a quick fight. The Supergirl and Barry batter her and uh, get the chip. She's got a chip in her hand. Get a chip out of her to uh, find out where Oliver and her gang are. When they get the chip, they discover the writing. Uh, is a similar to Hebrew writing in the code and, that, uh, and then they decipher the writing and they find out that Oliver and the gang are in a spaceship far far away in the sky so while they discover in this Oliver and them find a way get together Oliver, Thea, Barry, uh, sorry Roy, Diggle and uh, Sarah are trying to escape on their way out they have to fight their way out so they fight Damien Dark and uh, Slade Wilson and uh, Malcolm Merlin. They kill them and they get to the smoke building. When they're in the smoke building, they find a little of a kind of a wormhole to get out of it, to get back to real life. And on the way out, Oliver remembers everything good, his family and Felicity and his sister and Roy, everybody said to him. And this is what keeps him going, that he's a fighter, still he's still going to fight. So basically, that's just the just the hallucination that was that was nothing not major part, just the hundredth episode part that was where all the characters came back and we seen them for one last time. That was a quite enjoyable thing as well when he had a life that he wanted that life, but that life he knows he can't have no more. So he's left that life behind again and he's come back because he knows he has to fight on. Now they wake up on the ship. And when they wake up, aliens are talking here and there in the alien language. Ray picks up on this, and then uh, they try to find their way out. On the way out, they uh, find a, a group of aliens, so they get a ray, ray gun, a razor gun, they find on the wall and shoot, shoot their way out and get into a ship. Once in the ship, they somehow start it by mistake, and the ship comes out, but they are followed by. They are followed by all the aliens. And uh, they are in panic mode, what to do, what to do. Then the wave rider comes out of the blue and rescues them. Apparently, Felicity sent them to save uh, Oliver and them. So that's how they got saved in the end. Basically, a quick short story. This is there's no major things apart from one thing in the end. The Dominators are heading for Earth and they've got a new weapon. And Ray works out that they built a weapon to get rid of everybody in the earth. Only, but they only kidnapped them because they're not meta humans. So, continued in the next Legends of Tomorrow story, they're going to find a way to stop them. So, we shall see how it goes. That's my review. It's basically a good sentimental. 
episode nothing major no major facts come out to or no major spoilers about the story of the dominators come out apart from they kidnapped non-matter humans so like humans only and they kidnapped them for a reason to read into their brain and we don't know why they read into the brain but we'll find out but the poly they, they are building a big big weapon that can i think take out all of humanity in one go so we shall see tomorrow legends of tomorrow what they do thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel bye bye